Susan and Perigo, and now we'll define what is broken line growth. When we hear the word broken line growth, what we usually think? A broken heart char. In the math world, and according to Cambridge Dictionary, broken line growth shows that information as dots or small spots that are connected by the straight line. Also, it represents data by plotting points on the graph. Now, this called horizontal axis or also known as an x-axis represents a discrete quantities can take a certain value and we also have a vertical axis or also known as y-axis represents continuous quantities can only take any value. So the uses of broken line graph is it displays a series of data points. For example, if you need to analyze the revenue of your company and how much you make a year, making a line graph is the most efficient solution. So in simple words, broken line graph shows change over time. Now, kanusam ni nato magamit ang broken line graph? We can use broken line graph in experiments. No? When doing experiments, we record our data and we put them in a table and then we transfer the data to a line graph. We can see here the, temper the temperature and the time in minutes. We can also use this in company statistics such as this sales performance for the four first four months, the time is represented in months, and the annual sales in millions of dollars. So these are the uses of I am Ezra's B. Kilio N. I am here to discuss about the differences between the continuous line graph and the broken line graph. They may look like the same, but they also have differences. The broken line graph tells us the changes over time, and it consists of broken lines and has a horizontal axis divided into units of time. Like for example, days of the week or months of the year. Its vertical axis displays the values of the qualitative characteristics studied. Meanwhile, the continuous line graph doesn't consist of broken lines and both axes represent continuous values. Like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. The continuous line graph tells us the direction of the patterns. Meanwhile, the broken line graph displays patterns and help us make predictions. Thank you. Okay, in order to understand the basics in creating a graph, first we need a title para masabta na to kung sa sa graph. Then we need a y-axis and an x-axis. The y-axis contains the dependent variables which are dependent sa variables na ibutan na to sa x-axis. Diri, maklaro sa na to, makita sa na to nga, ibutan nga niya break, symbol, ang bilaw sa 500 in order to signify or indicate nga ang na skip siya from 0 to 500. Also makita ato nga ang intervals niya is by 50s which here 500 550 and so on. Let me show you how to construct a broken line graph. The first thing to do is to create your x and y axis. After creating Label it depending on the units used on the problem. The second thing to do is to write the scale that shows your intervals. The third step is plotting the data using the points. Plot a point in each pair of values. So, the number of points will depend on the number of pairs of values in the data. The fourth step is to connect the points. The points will be connected by a straight line from left to right. So in interpreting the graph, you need to plot out the points, which is right here. Uh, you can see that there is income and expenses, income being green. So you, you, you make it sure that it is significant to the legends, which is green. Uh, as you can see here, started from here, and then the expenses started from here as well. And then it goes up, and it goes up, and that is basically how you interpret the graph. And make sure that, like in this one, the comparative... Uh, broken line graph you need to point out or you need to plot out the points and make sure that it's significant to your legends and make sure that it is present in the problem thank you 
So today's video, I'm gonna show you some examples in which we can use broken line graph. Here are the data observed for temperatures from July 22 to July 31 exclusive. So this data in the form of broken line graph. So we can observe based on the graph between July 22 and 25 the temperature increased by 8 degrees. And between July 27 and 29, the temperature dropped 9 degrees. And on July 26, it was hotter than July 22. And Hi! So, today's video, I'm going to show you some examples in which we can use broken line graph. For example, the data shows billions of people are living in the world from 1900 to 2020. So this is the example of broken line graph that has already been plotted. So we have our y-axis and our x-axis. So our y-axis is located in the left side, which is entitled population billions of people. And our x-axis here is the year from 1900 to 2020. So I have here specific questions. So um, my first question for the uh, um, estimate population of the world in 1930 based on the graph. So in 1930, the total um, population is 2 billion people living in the world. And second question, in what decade did the population increase the most? So the answer for that is the year 2010. Thank you.